Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, uh, we're looking at an alternate way to factor various polynomials. In this video, we're looking at four term polynomials. So this is kind of an alternate way instead of the traditional way of factoring. In this way, we use a box and it's important that this is a two by two box. Um, so as you can see, we've been given a four term polynomial here, one, two, three, four terms. So we're gonna take each term and put it into a box. So x squared will go in our first box, plus 2x will go in our second box, minus 4x will go in the third box, and minus 8. Now, you don't have to put a sign with the 2x because it's positive, but I just like to put it there to remember that that is a positive 2x. It's definitely necessary if it's a negative number. Okay, so now that we have our numbers lined up in a box, we are going to factor out the GCF um, of four different places. So our first place is starting at the bottom right here and moving to the top. So negative 4x and x squared. We're asking ourselves between those two terms, do we have a GCF? Um, so that x squared has a 1 in front of it, so between 1 and negative 4, uh, our greatest GCF would just be 1. So you can write 1 if you need to see it, um, or you don't have to, because I see that we've got an x squared, that means that's two x's and just an x. So the largest amount of x's I can pull out would be just 1. So if you want to write 1x, you can, you don't have to. All right, so our next place is over here. We're gonna move from bottom to top here. So I've got a negative eight and a two x. So between my numbers, positive two x and negative eight, I know that my greatest GCF is gonna be positive two. We always factor out this leading sign. So here it was positive, so we brought out the positive. Here it's positive, so we're gonna bring out positive. So with 8 and 2, we said it would be 2. I can't bring an x out because even though that one has one, that one doesn't. So it's just going to be x plus 2 on the top. So now we're going to come we're going to do the side. We're going to move from right to left. So between x squared and positive 2x, what is our greatest GCF? And we're going to write it out to the side. Um, so in this case, it's going to be positive because our leading sign is positive, And it'll just be an X. If you need any help uh, figuring out the GCF, if I'm moving too fast and you're not quite sure what's happening there, uh, I strongly encourage you to go watch my video on factoring out the GCF, the greatest common factor. That's what we're doing. Okay, so uh, my last box will be moving from right to left again. We're just moving on the bottom. Uh, looking at my numbers, I've got a negative four here and a negative eight here. This is my leading sign, so it's gonna be negative. And between four and eight, it's definitely gonna be a four coming out. That's their GCF. I can't pull an X out, because even though there's one there, there's not one there. So these uh, these are my two binomials. So I've got my one on the top, x plus 2, and my one on the side, x minus 4. That's it. That's my answer. All right, so let's try one more. Note that these are just expressions, so um, we are not setting these equal to zero because this was not an equation. This was just an expression. Um, so in one of my next videos, we'll talk about how to solve when we do have an equals, but for now, this is our final answer. Okay, so moving on over here, I again have a one, two, three, four term polynomial. So I'm going to put the first term in the box, second term, third term, and fourth term. I'm going to start here and move up. So between negative 15x and 6x squared, my leading sign's positive, so it's going to be a positive coming out. Um, I've got a 6 and a 15, so that's going to be a positive 3, would be my GCF number. And then I've got two x's here, one here, so the most I could pull out would be 1. My leading sign over here, we're going to come move top to bottom here. Leading sign is positive, 
which means I'm going to pull out a positive. And I've got an 8 and a negative 20. Um, so my GCF in this case is going to be positive 4. I can't pull an X out because even though there's one here, there's not one there. So we're done with the top. Let's move side to side now. So between 6X squared and positive 8X, I know my sign's going to be positive. Between 8 and 6, I can pull out a 2. I've got an X squared and an X, so the most I can pull out would be an X. Now we'll move right to left on the bottom. So between negative 15X and negative 20, I see my leading sign's negative. And 15 and 20, GCF will be 5. I can't pull an X out because there's not one here. So now I have my two binomials. I've got 3X plus 4 and 2X minus 5. That would be our answer. All right, so really a, a much uh, quicker alternative uh, to traditional factoring. Uh, this is called the, um, we're calling it just the box method. I don't know if there's a more official term, but this has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.